Welcome to another Zincast, and we have some winter weather to talk about. We got some winter weather to talk about for tomorrow into Monday, and then some mischief for next week, late next week. Uh, so let's dive into this. This will be a very quick video, and I got a snow map, so stay tuned for the snow map. But first of all, take a look at that cold air. That cold air is feeding into the area. Remember the, the video the other day? Uh, we showed this and it was more locked into Canada and you could see it bleeding down and that is obviously an ingredient if you enjoy winter weather. So let's go right to the NAM simulated uh, forecast here for uh, tomorrow. So this is about 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can see how snow and rain showers work into the area and that is uh, lingers around all day tomorrow, sometimes heavy at times, depending on, on your location, right? Uh, specifically, obviously, the interior, right? Uh, and that lasts until about tomorrow, 10 a.m., okay? Uh, sorry, Monday, 10 a.m. So from tomorrow, 10 a.m. to Monday, 10 a.m., depending on your location, um, there is winter weather, so slick conditions, uh, and again, I have a snowfall map that I will show you. Uh, and this pretty much also has to do with an inverted trough setting up. So depending on how that sets up, uh, which is always difficult to model, um, it could be off by, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles. And if it is, it shifts the heavier precipitation towards it. <laughs> and, you know, right here, you can obviously see um, where it is trying to set up that inverted trough see if I could draw do I have my drawing tool on right um, so yeah it is interesting again it's a minor um, well, light to moderate event depending on your location um, and let us actually look at next week because next week is focusing to be have some potential to be a major storm obviously way too early to nail down details and who knows right but the ingredients are there blocking is there cold air all that so let's take a look at the euro from last night this is the uh, zero z euro uh, remember that wrecking ball that we talked about the other day that low pressure system there it is it wants to come across right and you're gonna see try to clear that out you're gonna see it tries to head north actually right there we are but the blocking in place yeah, the blocking forces it south and that is a really nice signal for a uh, east coast nor'easter snowstorm whatever you want to call it um so yeah it is showing up will it <laughs> continue to show up depends how everything evolves but the signals are there um most of the major models are showing it um so we will see we got to track it right we track it and uh, we'll see what happens. But again, this is for next uh, week, Friday, set, um, yeah, pretty much, let's see. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next weekend. So uh, it's something we have to pay attention to. But, uh, you know, again, you, you don't, <laughs> you can't take any of this stuff and say lock it in. It's way too early, way too early. All right, uh, let us take a look at one more map here. This is... Uh, the upper level winds and just want to show you that remember that ridge that we talked about in oops sorry about that in the other video well that ridge is gone remember it was here um kind of slid off to over here right so it got suppressed down that is another major ingredient so let's take a look at that snow map let us pull it up here is my snow map, my first call, my only call on this coming uh, winter weather, light to moderate event, okay, wouldn't really call it a snowstorm, uh, light to moderate event, depending on where you are, uh, so let's take a look, think, you know, point south of Rockland County, uh, you're a trace to an inch, uh, you may see a bunch of snow falling, uh, oh, by the way, also, with some rain mixed in at some points. Uh, but you might all see a bunch of snow falling, but it has a hard time accumulating. Obviously, more accumulation on grassy surfaces. Uh, north of that, I have you in the one to three. I wouldn't rule out you seeing some rain uh, mixed in as well, um, specifically in Rockland County. Uh, definitely possible. Um, and again, I think at first it has a little hard time accumulating on 
on uh, the warmer surfaces. Uh, but one to three is a good bet. And then further north of that, I like this little pocket in here for the three to six, right? The three to six range. Um, I just think the higher elevations, you stay all snow the entire time. Um, and again, if you get that inverted trough to set up just right, I think you guys squeeze out the most out of this. So again, New York City, trace to an inch. You're going to see some rain also mixed in, but hey, it's going to feel like winter weather. Uh, and then for the north, one to three, a little bit for the north, three to six. Again, start times, depending on your location, obviously, you know, for the west you are in Pennsylvania, it's going to start earlier. But for my location, around 9 a.m. tomorrow, and it lasts until about 10 a.m. the next day, 9 a.m. next day. So it's 24-hour uh, light to moderate event. All right. Shortest video on record for a Zincast, and I'm going to call it quits on YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Comment below. Do you agree with my snow map? Hey, comment during the, snow, during the event and let me know. And then, of course, we are going to be tracking next week's storm. Uh, that one, that one's got me excited, but we'll, we'll see. Again, can't get too excited. Have a good one, everyone, and enjoy the weekend.